Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Rootsu, Rootsu Designs on Etsy. I just wanted to thank you all for your support uh, in our launch for the EDC Valet. We've had a really great response and I appreciate it so much. I have had a few questions come in about how to install the lanyard. Uh, this is the two twist cordage lanyard that we supply and uh, I wanted to, to cover that, so join me inside. So anybody in the bushcraft community will be pretty familiar already with the two-twist method. I've used the same two-twist method here, just using a different cord. And the nice thing about this, as we'll see, is that it allows you to attach things easily. So you can see the lanyard is only this long, but the reality is this is about four feet of cord, but it's just in a much more compact uh, package. So in a minute, I'll show you how to attach the lanyard onto your valet. But first, I wanted to, to give you this skill if you don't already have it, because I think this is a very useful skill to have, and it's quite easy to learn. This lanyard is actually two feet of parachute cord, and then the way to tie this is you find the center, start twisting like this, and you'll see that the cord wants to twist up on itself, and that's exactly what you want. And so you let that first loop start to happen, and you try to keep that tight. You twist, you're going to twist each strand, counterclockwise if you're looking at it from above. So it's counterclockwise, and then it's, they're going to pass over each other in a clockwise manner. It's counterclockwise and clockwise, counterclockwise and clockwise. So again, each strand is going to be counterclockwise, and then you pass over clockwise. So counterclockwise and pass over clockwise. And you can see my left hand is sort of grabbing and holding the strand as it comes back over. And when you get about this much, twisted, uh, it's easier if you actually attach this or, or clip this onto something, and then both hands can work more freely like this. And I find the easiest thing is just to use a binder clip, and because I'm working on a table, I've just tied this in. So again, you get about that much in, just clip it in, just like that. Now I can do the same process, and I'm twisting, passing over, and holding. You notice I reach around, grab, twist, into this hand, just like that. And you'll be tempted when you start to try to really do a lot of twists here to keep everything tight, but you really don't need to. It's really maybe one twist, just like that. So if I was doing this kind of just at normal speed, it, it wouldn't take much time at all. Now, as you're doing this, especially the first few times, it might not be um, exactly consistent, and that's perfectly fine because what you can do is go back and just kind of twist opposite and balance out the wrap. Just like that. So you're kind of dressing the twist, so to speak. Now, I like to just finish this with a simple overhand knot. It just makes it easier when you're actually going to uh, take it apart and use your cordage. So when you get about this much left, so maybe an inch and a half, and hopefully your two ends are pretty close. They don't have to be exactly close. If they're way off like this, you might use that as an opportunity to uh, practice again and, and untie it. So the easiest thing is just to tie an overhand knot, just like that, get it started. Don't worry about having it right at the end to start with. You just want to kind of get this. And see, that's loose. It's not untwisting. Now you can kind of dress the knot and just slide this down off of the twist, keep everything nice and neat. And pull it a bit, and there you go. So that's the completed lanyard. Now when you receive your EDC valet, it's going to come with the lanyard already tied for you. But now that you have the skill, you can tie your own for uh, other uses. Okay, so this is the lanyard that we just tied. And you get to decide which side you want to put it, put it on. Uh, in this case, let's put it on the right side here. So it's as easy as just threading the knot, knotted end through, pass it through. And this is the loop that we were um, paying attention to how tight this was the first time around. So you want this to be a bit tight because we're going to pass this knot through that loop and the natural tendency for it to twist back up is what's going to kind of keep this secure. So depending on how tight this is, you might be able to just do it with your fingers, but oftentimes it's easier grabbing a pen, pencil, just kind of open that up a bit. You can go against the twist and that gives you a little bit of an opening. Just pinch it there. Okay. 
just pass the knot through and then just kind of re-engage the twist and that knot is going to prevent it from slipping through just like that and then you can have the knot in the front or the back whatever you want to do and now your lanyard's attached the slimline version doesn't have the lanyard um, and that's actually the one that I prefer and the one that I personally carry so the nice thing about having the lanyard on the valet, it gives you a little bit of cordage that you have with you every day. And I just find other ways to carry cordage every day.